Right, good day, my name's Julian and today I'm going to be whipping up a little back bench for my shipping container build. It's a workbench that should help organize that whole space really nicely, so I'm really looking forward to getting this one done. Nothing too fancy here, it's just the same kind of 30mm angle line you've seen me using my projects before. Right, so frames painted and finished up. The board I got yesterday, this is the same kind of board that I used for the bike workstation. Um, just to give a bit of cohesiveness. I'm going to do some shelves, um, finish up the top and get her in there. So, let's get into it. A big thing I kind of regret not doing in this build is utilizing the kind of measurements that come with the board so that I minimize a lot of waste. In hindsight, I probably would have built it in kind of increments of 600, 1200, that kind of thing. It was a bit of a mission to figure out exactly how to fit everything on the board so minimize as much waste as possible. I used the straight edge of one of the boards and kind of ripped everything off that straight edge so I knew that it was nice and straight. Just lots of ripping, lots of cutting. Took me most of the morning to get done. I love using this technique because the 20mm board sits so nicely inside the 30mm angle line. It gives it this real cool effect and quite a strong, simple build, quite minimal. Here you can see me just banging them in, they fit like a dove. Next what I did was drill little holes through the steel frame. This just with a small little screw kind of held those boards in place. Um, I also drilled some holes. Here you can see them coming through for the top so that it doesn't move around. Looking pretty snazzy. I also chuck some boards down the bottom. Next we measured up where the shelves are going to go a line and I use these real cool little metal grommets I don't know what they're called you just kind of drill in a little hole bang them in and then the shelf will rest on that here just make sure that you drill the hole so the top of the hole touches where the bottom of your shelf is going to be Right, so what I'm doing with these boards is I've got a little jig that's going to give me a straight edge on them just in case they've got a bit of a curve or a bow in it. I'll rip that down with the skill saw and then I've at least got somewhat square edge, straight square edge to put through the, the thickness of and then get both sides parallel to each other and then um, the board itself should be reasonably square and I can get it exactly 135 mil. so that's the plan. Um, yeah, get going. Here I'm just throwing the boards right through the thickness. So I've kind of got one flat edge like I discussed. It's the vault thickness and make short work of this job. So if you want to check out the full review, the link's in the description below. The next job was cutting everything to length. I had only a one 2.4 meter board and measured from that to kind of fill in all the gaps. Marked up all the little points where I'm going to chuck in those biscuits. As you can see here, this is kind of the test layout of everything. Next job was getting out the biscuit. This is one of my favorite tools in the world. Nice generous layer of PVA glue and then I bumped in all those biscuits. This kind of job I guess would have been a bit easier with another person on hand but one of those things where you know just gonna make do. I glue biscuit repeat glue biscuit repeat and then laid it out on the clamps using that clamp as the kind of flat edge. Yeah I'm just making sure that all the, the joints are nice and tight. The glue kind of squirts out of them.
Next little job was kind of cleaning up all the little rough bits. A uh, little bit of the glue that kind of seeped through and some little stray bits that didn't quite get cleaned up in the thicknesser. And then lots and lots of sanding. This is my little Otizo sander. Um, it packed itself in just towards the end of this job, but it probably three or four hours of sanding and eventually it kind of gave up. New toy. 69 bucks. I've had my one probably cost $30 it from Bunnings. It would have lasted about probably about eight years. This is a tool shed one. I don't know, seems pretty good. I'm so happy with how this timber came out. It is stunning. You've seen me use it in my videos before. It's all reclaimed, all recycled from right here on the farm where I live. Next, I just gave it a little bit of a polyurethane coat. Again, quite generous with it. Gave it a real light sand afterwards, but this stuff's real hardy. It's, it's meant to be for floors, but I use it in kind of a very high impact areas. This is a working bench after all. It dries in about half an hour and then all that was left is chucking it all together. Ooh, that's nice. I'm pretty happy with how it's all turned out. It's there just to kind of organize all our stuff in the shipping container and give us another workbench to work from. I will be chucking some doors on it maybe later on, but that'll be a whole nother video. We'll see how we go. Alright, off to some little push and shove. Fit into the shipping container really nicely. It's given us such uh, a nice space. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you bash that like button. Maybe give us a comment on what you would have done differently. I've got heaps of videos on the way, so hang in there and I'll see you next time.